Um, all right, so Pacano has not given up. Yeah, it looks like my headset's still going to be a butt tonight, so. But SK Deal with his Garchomp, Pacano with his Charizard, which was his character for the new main tournament. Um, already starting off with the lead. Oh, able to cover that dig approach. Oh, that barely just didn't hit his counter. Good 2x. Pacano is relatively new-ish to Charizard. Um, oh, nice fire punch there. Goes for the Emolga. Oh, he accidentally jumped. Good counters here from Pacano. Oh man, that uh, seismic toss. Very, very close. Let me go ahead and just kind of chip him down a little bit. Ooh, all right. Risky lunge paying off. Go ahead and use the Umbreon Drain. A little more synergy than useful. Tries to burst, but unfortunately he does get a beat out. And SK Dale able to clutch it out. Starting to round two here. Good counter against the homing attack. Kind of able to stop the approach. High stance against the flamethrower. Not sure if he got much mileage off that though. Goes for the Emolga, not able to block that. A little bit of a trade, but that works out in uh, Pagano's favor. Goes for the 2x into flamethrower. Little uh, miss space for the seismic toss, so I understand why he went for that option. Kind of going to activate burst. <coughs> Not able to punish the approach. Nice use of the burst to punish the homing attack. It's already it doesn't do it at home, it's weird. Alright, so, sorry we're having some headset issues. Pocket Sand's going to get the uh, face shift. Ooh, alright, the counter working out against the release X. Tries to go for a 2x, Umbreon's going to bump that back. Tries to go for a Sand Tomb, Picano able to react in time. A lot of the tech's going back and forth, but SK Dale is going to be able to land that Sand Tomb. Very favorable position for him as well. Um, and able to counter through it, so SK Dale is going to take game one. Very close though, the Chars are definitely coming in full force. able to cover uh, around the flame turret, it looks like. Ops for a reset. Goes for Santum able to tech in time. Good reactions here from Picano. Does a grab back. <coughs> Shifts into field. Oh, man. It's almost like he ducked into that JY. Oh, tries to go for a grab, but Picano hopping up into the air for that real quick flare blitz. Good execution. Catches him out of the air. Bella bump. Goes for the seismic toss. This actually might. A lot of power behind Charizard there. A little bit of a projectile fight, but SKDL is going to find an opportunity there. 
not able to block in time. Ooh, flamethrower working out, but unfortunately not able to confirm a 2x off of it. He might have been able to, but trying to go for a seismic toss. Combos into the ump round. Now the Mulga gets blocked. Ooh, and the JY is going to snag. Kano definitely bringing a good fight here, but Escadale able to uh, very dominantly control that match. Oh, gets snagged by Vulnerable Frames. I don't know if that was an accidental low uh, release X. Yo, all right, all right. Ooh, the combo off the Mulga. It's going to get scaled down. That's all right. He, he landed the seismic toss. Able to snag a vulnerable frame there with release X. Kind of going to activate burst. That is punishable. Try to go for a 2x though. Uh, I don't think he's going to snag the back dash. No, he is. Okay. A lot of damage there, but he's still got some work to do if he's going to clutch out this game. That is punishable, but Garchomp doesn't have any options. Ooh, able to backdash and block in time. Saves him from the damage. He wins the exchange. Goes for Amolga. Chipping him down. Goes for Dig. That is punishable, and the 2x is going to confirm. Kano taking game two, moving into game three here. I don't know if maybe SKDL accidentally or like didn't get to execute the, the jump cancel in time, but that I do apologize for the uh I don't know if you guys are hearing anything weird on that end, but headset keeps cutting in and out and whatnot. All right, moving into game three here, Picano. This Charizard, man, we didn't expect him to stick with it, but it worked out very well for him, being able to get second. There we go, two X pokes. Ooh, all right, going for the hammerhead. JX is going to snuff out the, uh, the jab attempt. However, if Picano did an 8Y, it would have beat out the JX, I think. Timed correctly, of course. Goes for the Amolga, not able to get out of that situation, so he is going to take the speed down. Fire Punch. Ooh, able to call the jump! Goes for the burst, keep him in the corner. Goes for the Seismic Toss, that actually might take it. It does! A lot of power behind that Seismic Toss. Kind of sitting on set point, but we got to see if SK Dale can turn this around here. Go ahead and throw out Miss Magius. Release X is going to snag. Ooh, gets a grab. Kind of trying to go for that counter. space with that 2x. Garchomp's counter is going to win that exchange. Not countering or blocking, or continuing to block rather, against the Dragon Claw. Ooh, able to snag a vulnerable frame there. Goes for the Emolga, and able to uh, snag that in time. Goes for the burst, keep him in the corner. Goes for the seismic toss. It puts him in the air, and that's why that's winning that exchange. Um, as you can see, SKDL is trying to go for a normal grab, but you can't grab things that are in the air uh, naturally. So since Seismic Toss throws him in the air, um, that's why he's winning that. Otherwise, it would be a, a speed thing, and SKDL would win. I think. Oh, tries to go for that grab, and Burst Attack is just going to bop that. So we are going to move into final round here.
Excellent. Escadale using a lot more Miss Magius as of late. There is a nasty unlockable setup that he can put uh, up against Shut. Not able to snag a vulnerable frame there against counterattack. Goes for the Amolga will exchange. Fully charge counter is going to be able to get blocked in time. Flare Blitz working out. Let's go for a grab. Let's go for a grab back. And that exchange again. All right, so SK Dale is going to beat Picano here 2-1, but Picano definitely showing a very strong fight there with that Charizard. Glad to see that he is deciding to uh, stick with it. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and move into our next one here.